here we are again. Thank you. I know it can't be easy for you, hearing my confession. Just because you say the words, it doesn't mean you believe them. For all I know, you might be getting a kick out of reliving what you've done. I'm laying my soul bare here. For all I know, you could be running straight to the police. I'm bound by confidentiality. Whatever you tell me is between you, me and God. And now God knows the truth. I've said it out loud. It doesn't mean you're forgiven. God can see into your heart what you decide to plead. That will make a big difference. Do you have any idea how difficult this is for me? I'm having to face some pretty big personal issues here. It's not just about the lives of those you killed. And I told you, poor Ben was in self-defense. You really gonna keep on lying? What about Liam having to bury his only daughter? Millie growing up without her mum? If you want repentance, you start there. Why are you having a go at me? I thought you were on my side. It's not about sides, Mina. Either you accept responsibility or I can't help you. Okay. Maybe you're right. Although it's a bit hypocritical if you ask me. Banging on about truth when you've been lying to me. What do you mean? Murderers don't enter into the kingdom of heaven. Galatians 5.21. It's not as if I haven't got plenty of time to bone up in here. The King James Version. It's very obscure text. Like I say, time on my hands. Then you should read Luke first. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. 5.32. I'm not even sure you could handle the truth if I did tell you. Try me. What? Like how desperately she fought for her life. Or how her last thought in this world was her daughter. Endearing, really. I almost felt sorry for her. Maybe if she'd shut up, things might have been different. I might not have had to kill Andrea. I mean, all credit to her for fighting back. At one point, I actually thought she was gonna get away. <laughs> Can you imagine? But then she took a wrong turn and I had her trapped. She knew it was over. I could see it in her eyes, the hope draining away as I dragged her, the sound of her head hitting the stairs. I don't need the details. Oh, but you do. If I don't say, then how can I be forgiven? And besides, it feels good getting it off my chest, like a weight lifted. You have no idea how the sound of her screams still haunt me to this day. I thought I'd left her for dead when she started the fire, but from what the police told me, <laughs> obviously not. Enjoying this? No, I'm trying to repent, like you told me. You're a cold-blooded killer. Who's seen the error of her ways? God rejoices in one sinner and all that. Well, this is it. This is my confession. I need to leave. What? No! We've only just got started. I've got so much more to say. Charles, you're the only person I can trust. I've heard enough.
But you will come back, won't you? Don't forsake me in my hour of need. Yes, Kim. Mina, now's not a good time. I've been so worried about you. When you left yesterday, you looked so sad. Hearing you tell me in your own words. What you did to Andrew. Wasn't exactly news to you, was it? Just hear you admit. You told me I had to tell you. You wanted to know everything. And you enjoyed every single minute. I promise, it hurt me as much as it hurt you. Reliving the moment, taking ownership. It was overwhelming. But now I've confessed. I've begun the journey to forgiveness. Forgiveness? You told me if I repented, then I'd be saved. That's how it works, isn't it? I've bared my soul. I've been naked spiritually before you. I need your guidance now more than ever. Yesterday, I only told you part of it. But I know I can trust you with more. How Leanna pleaded with me to spare her. And there was that moment, just as she fell, when she seemed to hang in the air. It was beautiful. And the sound of Ben's skull as it finally cracked open. I can still hear it now. It haunts me. I need to see you, Charles. You're the only one who can exercise my demons. I can't visit you again. They need me here. But I'll pray for you. I'll pray that you find peace. <laughs>